Hello everybody, it's Beard Boy OG here and welcome back to another episode of Modded Minecraft Survival. In the last episode, we went to the nether and we explored it a bit. We found that nether ship, kind of like an end ship, but a nether ship. But today, I have a project. Can I ask you a favor? Could you consider subscribing? It would help me out graciously if you could press that red button down below. And consider liking the video, because liking always helps. But we don't have any enchantments or XP. So today, folks, we are going to be going and turning that... Oh, oops. <laughs> We're going to be turning that lighthouse into an XP farm. Why? Well, as we head in here, this thing has multiple spawners. So if we tear this down, we can go and build essentially whatever we want it's a, a, a clean slate we just got to make sure that the spawners are intact and once i have enough done i'm going to start tearing this down and my goal is to make a mega spawner Okay, folks, I finally tore down the lighthouse, and, um, yeah, it's gone now, and you want to see how much, so we have this, almost this entire thing full of items, and then the rest of what we have that came from this, excluding from what's in my inventory, is placed up here in this chest that I started, so we have this normal chest, Okay, okay, normal. Then we have one of the advanced classic storage chests that are in this mod pack. I have a gold one here. And it's filled to the brim. Look how much terracotta. Oh my lord. And this is not all of it. I think I've transferred some of it already over there. And when I said this was going to be a mega XP farmer, spawner, I mean it. Like, you have two there, one there, one there. Uh, the one there. There. In there and there and there <laughs> this is gonna be massive so what I am planning to do is build these XP spawners create a big area for them inside a mushroom yes a massive mushroom with multiple little air oh this is exactly why I need an XP spawner from dumb deaths like this now that we have all this terracotta, this is not all of it, obviously. I showed you over there that that's where the rest of it's kept. With the white and the red terracotta, we're going to use those to make the mushroom parts themselves. So we'll have a stem. I don't know what that's going to be yet. I'm going to have to figure out some type of block for that. But the red and the white, I will be using for each mushroom you can say like stem, not stem, but branch. And my goal is to have one branch be here with these spawners, another branch be here with these, and then they swarm down to here in the stem where we can just walk up and punch them. That way we're able to get a decent supply of XP. So it's time for the, well, we already had the not so fun tearing it down part. Now it's time for the not so far getting the supplies part. Ooh, Bob, what do you have for me today? Um, anything of note? No, this is all you have. Weird, they despawned for some reason. Okay, folks, now we are going to be doing these spawning areas. So, based on a little wiki that I have pulled up, it should be three blocks above the spawner, so they don't spawn, you know, so we got that space going up. Now, oh, yeah, I got to figure this out really quick. Okay, I'm realizing this is going to be way too big of a project, and it's not going to look good. Having to be a mega spawner, but we can still make this a traditional spawner with the one up there, which we have almost done. OK, 
Okay, now that we have the area completely boxed in, I'm gonna get rid of these or maybe keep them up for decoration, I'm not sure. But we're gonna go and try to mushroom out the top here. I'm fine with it being mostly white and mostly red at some spots. This is gonna be the more inner area. We do have a lot of brown or yeah, black and red terracotta. So we're gonna mix those in and then eventually we're gonna work on the step. Okay, folks, that is looking much better. I was trying to do the iconic mushroom Minecraft mushroom look where you had the little dots everywhere and it didn't really look well. I kind of like having just a white stripe go all the way around with two little red stripes there. Now I need to go and make myself a stem. It's stem time. Okay, right before the time lapse. I'm sorry for stopping you at that moment, but I do have to make the holes here in the center. So this should be seven by seven. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if we go one, two, three, we have the center there. One, two, three. This should lead us directly into the center. So one, two, three there. So to get that correct. So one, two, three, bam. One, two, three, bam. Then if we bring both of those inward, it would go there. So there we go. There we have the center. We need the center so we can go in. Basically make it so these spiders will go in flow into the middle. So what I'm going to do, because we can't really have it one by one, we're going to open it up like this. I wish it could have been four by four. That would have looked so nice right now, but. Oh, well. So sometimes you got to live with what life gives you. So there we go. There we go. Like so. And then we open that up. And then this here going downward is where we're going to have the first initial part of the step. So now we build the step in stem time. Okay, folks, it is finished. At least the stem. We got it highly detailed. I know it doesn't match with that. I don't know what good kind of design to do with that to change it. We don't really have too many red blocks, but for now, I think it's fine. I do have to fix that hole there, but we do have the inside done as well. We have a little waiting area so we can just smack, smack, smack when they fall down. We have all of our hoppers lining into this chest so we can also get that good old loot because we can probably get a lot of uh string which can you can be used to make beds the more beds we can use the more we can blow up the nether so that way we can do both so now we get to have the fun okay temporarily doing that have the fun of going into here and breaking everything and by breaking everything i mean torches so that one's gonna be easy it's in there that we have to get the hope is that they fall down that's what i'm hoping this system here is gonna do so just gonna open it right now it's gonna be fine for now it's definitely having things fall which is the good thing there's one there's two ow go there that should be it for in here oh i don't have any <laughs> i must have dropped them when i was down there um should be able to make that there we go do i have any down here I like it all please I don't know if it's cycled through yet. Oh, I need red terracotta. Oh, there it is. It was like, where? Or not terracotta, but concrete. We needed this, so we now need to plug those holes up there up. And plug the ones here. So let's quickly get into here. Don't want no trouble. Come on, let me out. There. And then we can fill this here up. There we go. Oh, you hear that? 
Now we should be able to just go up here, fill this little hole, and start taking this down. We don't need this anymore, or you. And there's some other spots where we got to remove them, but for the most part, we are good. We got what we needed, and we need those gone too. Oh god, I forgot about those. Okay, folks, that's gonna have to do it for today's episode. And it is working decently well. We've been away from it. We've gotten some loot from it. And the hope is that I can keep working on it. This is a weird build because it's an XP farm based up there. And we're hoping that it drops and brings the mobs down. So as time progresses, I want to figure out ways to more optimize this. I'll probably be able to by lighting up any caves below us. But outside of that, I still got to figure out some more things. But this build's awesome. I think this is a really cool looking mushroom. Look at our shroom. It matches our just forest aesthetic. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Because if you did, consider subscribing because we have so much content planned here in the future. Consider liking the video because liking always helps. And comment down below mushroom because look at that magnificent mushroom. Once again, I'm going to figure out ways to better optimize this because it's working, but it's working very slow. So I'll find ways to fix that. I'll see you guys in the next episode.